Hello and welcome to Hometown, a news aggregation site, podcast, Twitch channel, Discord, YouTube channel, and more as it develops. This is an introduction to the Hometown.com site and a few more hints at what's going on. Ultimately, Hometown is a news aggregation site, and from that, we talk about the news every day. The plan is to launch 50 shows a week. And if you are interested in hosting or co-hosting, please feel free to get in touch. So Hometown is an online community. I just started it up. Even though it's been in production for quite a some quite a, a long time, I'm um kind of never happy with it. And so what you see on the screen right now is the current build of Ohmtown. And Ohmtown is a community built around um, aggregating news. It's similar to other news aggregation sites, except that um, it's more focused on importing information and then people talking about it. And not so much the submission of news um, across a, a really broad spectrum it's basically just these categories at the top which um right now there's only six but within it there are quite a few more and i'll walk you through it here so under create and it's kind of like a the term i would like to use as maker except that i don't want to uh, suggest that i'm tied to um maker that said, all of these have something to do with uh, creators. And so um, Aerith is a storybook world that I've dabbled around with for more than a decade. I've own, I own the domain Aerith.com. I own be beadbaby.com. I used to have a shop that sold um, beads and uh, jewelry findings, and I'm very interested in the community of uh, jewel crafters so i even bought the domain jewel crafting and so i started up a community about that and um, over the years i've started things and then shut them down um, mainly because i get pulled away by different things but i've always wanted to stream and um, i've tried over the years but life tends to get in the way of these things but starting in 2022 i'm not going to let anything uh, impact this effort so um, bead baby is about uh, beads specifically and once I can get some traction and interest going this will be a real-time uh, buying selling auction kind of uh, event on twitch um, along with uh, talking with people in the in the beading community um, I am not a, a maker of uh, jewelry I've done it in the past but I think there are much better people at it and um, I would rather highlight their crafting than to um, try and pr promote myself. And it's not really about that. All of this is really about promoting other people. Um, yeah. So Breaking Prose is about um, writing and primarily about people who don't have large publishing uh, houses behind them. Although we'll end up talking about um, more prolific writers. Um, I'm hoping to draw attention to new writers. Um, Constructagon is a is it's a project that I've started. <laughs> like all of these, these are all projects that I have started over the years. Um, and Constructagon is about 3D um, modeling, 3D printing, um, and and basically creating into the real world the things that we envision as uh, makers. Um, Jewel crafting is a, a, a more expansive um, maker community in that it's not limited to beads and uh, specifically, but we do want to highlight, I should say, I want to highlight um, the crafters of various pieces. Uh, and I've bought many over the years, um, but I want to draw more attention to these makers who aren't necessarily getting a lot of attention. Maybe they don't want it, um, but their craft is um, particularly interesting to me. 
Uh, Reality Hacker is a graphics manipulation community. Um, back when I was working on one of my degrees, I created along with the professor and the rest of the students a program that could take any audio and break it into its individual phonemes, the little elements that make up sound, and then we could apply it to any text. And so I could make anybody sound like anybody else using their words. And, and basically it's really creepy when you get down to it, but tying it to things like deep fakes, um, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and you can basically pull the human out of any environment and you have virtual actors, which uh, Unity is basically doing right now, uh, creating fake um, actors. It's quite fascinating. Uh, Tabletop Nights is um, a gaming environment, a gaming community, gaming group. Um, but it's focusing on tabletop gaming like uh, RPGs and um, uh, things like that. So I've been a gamer pretty much all my life. I can't remember a time when I wasn't interested or playing games. I grew up with D&D, um, AD&D, uh, GURPS, so on. I mean, Warhammer was my jam. So um, this will be talking about that. And then Warcrafters is a first-person shooting gaming kind of community where it focuses on the first-person shooters and other things that are associated with um, game-based war. Um, and that's not where this is going to be limited. We can always expand it, um, but these are the ones that I'm starting out with. And if you are interested in hosting, then we can actually set something up so that you can host these particular um, groups and um, stream into Ometown um, at least once a week. But I'm open to suggestions and discussion. So, and what would happen is you would get a share of the um, uh, revenue that's generated by the stream and um, the channel. So. Uh, news is limited to these right now, but it's a little bit bigger than that because the daily news show is a daily show. Um, but Commuter Edge is all about this new era that we're living in. I've actually owned this for probably longer than a decade. The domain I own, CommuterEdge.com. Um, and so this is focused on kind of advancing the ideology of teleworking. Uh, lo lowering the amount of time that a person has to dedicate to getting to and from work simply to conduct their job. Um, in most cases, a person, in many, many cases, I can't say most cases because the, the, the data just uh, may not be there, but in many cases, a person can do their entire job without leaving their house um, and free up anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours in just one trip going to work, let alone waiting in traffic to get back. Um, I've pretty much despised that um, my entire working existence. I used to have um, five hour commutes uh, round trip. And um, that's five hours out of your life a day that you're spent in traffic. I'd like to do away with that. And uh, the pandemic since uh, 2020, has pretty much proven that we can move away from that model in many cases. Obviously, there's a lot of trust uh, involved, but we can talk about it. Um, Hatch Ideas is my company. Um, I develop uh, new products and services. I'm a strategic management consultant, um, but I am more interested um, in talking about business, society, technology, um, ethics, uh, but Primarily, technology and society uh, it are intertwined in such a way that you can't do away with it. So Hatch Ideas is going to be talking about those three things, business, techno technology, and society. Um, Mobile is a generic news show. It does a lot of aggregation within it. Um, but it was a project that I started called The Mobile Mob, um, a.k.a. Mobile. And... Um, 
I am interested in talking about uh, news with everybody during this time and during the daily news show, except the daily news show is a daily show short, could be long, uh, depending on how much interest it has. And um, we'll focus on um, the, the discussion during the week, every day, uh, later at night, not during the day, although Mobile will talk about it during the day. Different issues, different concerns, more focused. Uh, stock Marketeers is about the stock market and businesses therein. Um, more focused on uh, performance and uh, a holistic understanding, holistic discussion of um, business, not day trading specifically, although I'm sure there are many people that are educated in day trading and will want to talk about it at that context, that level. I'm happy to discuss it. Education is a show about, uh, it, it's a category, but it has these shows within it. And uh, Dictionary is going to talk about uh, the etymology of words and creating new words for products and services, which is an element of my business. Uh, but we can talk about uh, somebody else's business and maybe we can come up with um, words or phrases marketing stuff for their business in real time uh, during the show um, we'll end up talking about intellectual property like um, patents trademarks etc uh, copyright although patents really don't play into this but trademarks and, and copyright definitely does um, far weekly is a show about government contracting. Um, I've got training in government contracting. I've never worked um, on the government side of government contracting, um, but I understand FAR, Federal Acquisition Regulations, the, the, the rules that basically bind the government to contracting, and we will talk about it during the show and, and help people understand exactly why things cost what they do. And it, let me tell you, uh, in a nutshell, <laughs> it is not um, specifically the government's fault. It is a framework that is binding government employees to follow a particular set of facts. And they can't step outside it. Otherwise, it's a violation of FAR. But we can talk about it more. Four wheel tech is about uh, cars, vehicles, um, and the technology within them. Um, I bought this well before Tesla existed. And um, th uh, again, I own all of these domains. And um, four wheel tech is a, a fascination of mine. And ultimately, we're going to end up talking about electric vehicles, um, cars like uh, Tesla, and there's uh, uh, Rivian is another. and. A canoe is one that I am absolutely fascinated with. Um, I hope that they beat VW to the market with their bus version of their car. It's a it's a neat little utility vehicle. Uh, Greenogram is basically the eco-friendly um, stream, and I hope to talk about things that are uh, eco-friendly, uh, growing things at home, um, food growing uh, uh, in. Um, like a basement uh, or some green room in your house so that you can uh, provide for yourself and it's lower impact on the environment. Um, but we'll talk about all kinds of stuff in here. Semiotic ontology is actually the, a research um, term for how things get meaning um, the most the most used, the most cited example is uh, why a stop sign gets its name. Um, why does it have meaning? And while people go, well, it says stop on it and it's red, so it gets my attention. It goes into greater detail. So why is that shape um, used? Why is red used? Uh, why couldn't it have been orange? Uh, why is stop the word that's used? Um, and so on. Uh, different societies have different things, different shapes, different colors, but we'll end up talking about it during the show. Temporology is actually the study of time and time travel. Now, there is uh, an other 
terms used for the study of time. Um, but this is actually a, a, a uh, as far as I can tell, a, a Russian um, formed area of research about the study of time and time travel. Um, for instance, you can be trained to observe the world at a faster rate than the normal person on the street. Um, and so fighter pilots do it and others do it. Uh, gamers in particular are another one where they basically observe so much of the world that they are, they can be perceived as, um, they perceive time at a different rate. So it's quite fascinating. And we'll talk about temporology, um, mainly movies, the science fiction, science fiction aspect of it and blend into science fact. Um, it's a largely misunderstood um, concept or not understood concept, not really misunderstood, but time and time travel is not understood. Kind of like how the brain works. Uh, you know, it's a bunch of synapses firing, but how is memory actually formed? Things like that. It's, it's a little bit more exotic than at first blush. Um, I have a final word at the end of this. I'm going to run it through. And I'm not sure if I'm even recording this um, onto Twitch, but whatever. Uh, this is a trial um, before I launch in just a couple of days. So the word in law is just what it says. We're going to talk about law. I'm not a lawyer. Um, I work with attorneys all the time, um, but I'm fascinated by law and the interpretation of law and the discussion of law. And there's many people who talk about it online um, on YouTube and on Twitch. There are people um, odds on. I will be talking with them to um, work out some way of streaming their stream here in ohm town and and talking about their stream um but there's a lot of concepts in law that translate over into other areas that i am um uh, trained in have experience in and so i'll end up talking about it let me see if somebody's in chat i don't think anybody's in chat let me see yeah nobody said anything yet Okay, well, anyway, um, and that's where we are with education. We're not limited to this on the far end of it, but for now, this is where we're starting. So entertainment um, is pretty much bound right now to um, drink. Um, I don't have a particular concept in mind for a food show. I don't have many things in mind for... Uh, movies. I have one down here called the continuity report, but we'll come to that later and why it's in social. Um, I just put it there. So it might end up back in entertainment. So distillerist uh, is a drinking show about, um, spirits and the discussion of, um, drinking spirits of the bean is about coffee of the brew is about beer of the grape is about wine of the leaf is about tea. And mixed war is probably one of the most, um, I don't know how to describe it, ambitious uh, term, uh, groups, shows, whatever you want to call it, because uh, there is a, uh, the group is on Ohm Town, but the show is on Twitch. Um, mixed war is a show about uh, music and taking music and mixing it up and um, voting it up or down as to, do you like it? And it's kind of like uh, another show that I'm talking about called Smash Hit, except that that is commercial. Um, and there's a lot of copyright issues associated with that. But with Mix War, the objective is to use um, unlicensed or open license um, music and then mix it. And you pick a fight with some other artist that you want to um, have a war with and you mix there's three rounds you mix your first mix with the set the predetermined set of um songs or tracks and um you mix it up 
everybody votes on it. There's a winner decided, and then you flip, and you can take each other's music that you've mixed, and then there's another vote. And then the tiebreaker, if there is a tiebreaker, um, is another mix. And then a winner is declared. So the best two out of three of the, the mix war. And then there will be uh, weekly, monthly, biannual, and annual winners uh, uh, for prizes. Uh, what they might be, it could be money, it could be uh, products, it could be services. Uh, but at the end of the day, we end up with uh, a mass of um, music that everybody can enjoy. And it will be um, available for uh, streaming and purchase and uh, compilation and so on. Um, but... It's just the the idea right now. I probably end up talking about it. Um, but again, just like uh, the creator section, the news and education, entertainment has a need for hosts. And that offer is out there. If you're interested in hosting a particular show and you have a passion for it, um, get in contact with me. Uh, social is another one where it's a, a mishmash of um, shows, groups, streams so law nerd is a deep dive into legal concepts um similar to the word in law um but this one will end up being more of um kind of a, a focus on a particular thing whereas up here it's going to be um more humorous and kind of goofing around instead of um very serious um, but it will be um, run by someone who is a subject matter expert in law. Um, policy metrics is an evaluation of policy on various websites and discussing it in a way that people can understand it. Um, I had started up this site and had people lined up to do the evaluation of policy. Um, it became a very time consuming project and uh, policy changes without notice. And so uh, an evaluation of a product or of a policy would end up being largely meaningless at the end of the day. Um, but the idea of what goes into a policy and how many people or sites or companies are using a particular policy and giving it a rating of understandability and application um, is a matter for discussion. So that's the metrics part of it is um, evaluating a policy and, and, and reading it. And these will be available in the group as they uh, come into existence. And again, I am not the subject matter expert, um, but I can evaluate policy. Um, right Protect is about uh, copyright, trademarks, patents, um, protecting an artist's right for their works. Um, and it could be anything from uh, written to music to artwork to pretty much anything. Um, but we'll talk about it. Um, it is a polarizing. Um, it's, a, it's a polarizing thing to have a discussion about uh, rights because some people believe that um, you should be able to take anything. If it's on the internet, it, it's free, right? Um, but that's not necessarily true. Um, Smasher Trash um, is a commercial. It's not open source music. So it's not um, free to stream music. It's going to be uh, copyrighted music and we'll discuss it. Um, possibly in little snippets. There's a problem with uh, Twitch and commercial music in that uh, you can't have VODs. Um, I've been licensed by the, the three major uh, licensing organizations for music. They say that I have the ability to stream on Twitch, um, but Twitch um, started trending towards a, an area, uh, an action where people were getting blocked automatically or something was triggering uh, copyright blocks 
and um, it made me pause until I could verify. And so I ended up getting conflicting responses, even from the licensing organizations. So this one is kind of on pause until things get straightened out. Um, and I was licensed for something like three years and just paused because I, I couldn't trust um, anybody's determination that I was covered or not. Um, Stream Stars is um, a show that is focusing on small streamers, um, people who don't have a large followings, don't necessarily have uh, large um, expensive sets that are created. It, it It's all about drawing attention to the people um, or groups that are passionate about it and are interesting, at least uh, to me and to others, um, and will highlight these stream stars. And it's all about streamers, not necessarily um, people who just post a, a YouTube video, um, but if they go live and they have uh, an interest in streaming, then we'll talk about that. Uh, the continuity report is an evaluation of movies. Um, I always find flaws in movies, things that don't make any sense, and others do the same thing out there. Um, but I wanted to create a community around the continuity report. Um, and the continuity report is... Um, a, it's basically a document that shows where everything is on a set so that at some point um, when the set is being rebuilt or something, a scene is being changed, the things that are going to be uh, important to be viewed remain in view where they are so that there is continuity from one setup to another. And that's what the continuity report is. Well, we've all seen a cup shift from one hand to another and so on. Um, but that's what this will be about evaluating movies in general, talking about them in general, um, but always drawing attention to the little idiosyncrasies between one scene and another. And that's where we are with uh, the social um, category of hometown and then technology. I am a huge tech nerd. I, uh, I geek out on all kinds of stuff, and um, that is actually my area of expertise, technology. Um, and there's three main categories that I am interested in, like I said at the very beginning of this, which is business, technology, and society. Um, that is primarily where my degrees are. That is primarily where my life has been uh, in the study of, and so... Obviously, it ended up being the biggest category so far. And I'll tell you a little more about why Ohmtown exists um, here in a minute. So stay with me. If you're watching the VOD, then great. If you're looking in real time, then awesome. Uh, but I don't think anybody's in my chat, so it's okay. Uh, Band of Bezel is about watches. Um, simply put, I... I am interested in watches, tearing them apart and putting them back together. I've got Apple watches and mechanical watches. Um, but I, I think that um, watches and the technology and and um, pretty much everything about that tech is really fascinating. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's been around for a long time in one form or another, not necessarily called a watch, um, but clockworks have been around for a long time. <clears throat> So Code Foundation is about software development. Uh, I am not a software engineer. I have no expertise in it, um, but I promote it in what I do each day. In my, in my area of expertise, I promote software engineering um, and, and coding in general. So I wanted to, wanted to create a community that promotes that and discusses um, software engineering and so i created code foundation it doesn't exist formally as as a a, a foundation or a, a tax-free entity but um by name code foundation late night geeks is the late night uh gaming show talk about games late at night um there are several people that are on 
um, in that vein on Twitch. Um, but I hope to gather a community around um, playing games late at night. Prime Glass is a phot photography group. Um, in previous iterations of my existence, I was a photographer where I would go and take uh, wedding pictures and go to sporting events and, and take pictures. Um, go to natural disasters and take pictures and so on. So I'm interested in the technology behind photography, not necessarily technique, but the people and, and um, the pictures that people take are um, interesting and intriguing. It kind of plays into the reality hacker um, group as well. Because if you take a, a good picture, you can manipulate it and um at some point you don't know who you can trust or what you can trust so we'll see what happens but we'll talk about photography here um rounders gear is um adult table gaming not not um <laughs> tabletop gaming but table games like poker um and uh, I, I've been, again, one of the things that I used to do is play poker. It's uh, fun. It's um, sometimes rowdy and uh, it's entertaining. So it used to be all the rage and it kind of fell out of vogue, at least on uh, TV. <clears throat> but the community still exists. COVID didn't help. Pardon me, I need a drink. Um, Smack Talk is a community about um, Apple. And um, I'm not um, polarized in any particular way. I use a PC. I use Apple. I use Android. I use Linux. Um, I've got all of that in one form or another. I mean, I use Raspberry Pis in certain places. And, um, but... I'm very interested in the ecosystem of Apple and where they are going. Um, in fact, my um, my master's thesis was an evaluation of Apple and uh, its competitors. And I, you know, without too fine a point, I predicted what Apple was going to do, and I predicted what Microsoft was going to do as a retaliation. Um, and let's just say that Apple's doing a Great job of it. Um, steampunkology is about the people, places, and things of steampunk. I've always been fascinated in it. Uh, I, at one point, um, I started going down the, the the world of steampunk to the point where I was uh, planning on changing the the look of my house um, to go more in that steampunk style. Um, but I love games about steampunk. I listen to uh, a group called um, Steam Powered Giraffe. Uh, they're just a lot of fun to listen to. And um, yeah, we'll talk about uh, movies and music and people and places associated with steampunk. Ta tablet Fan is all about uh, tablets, computers without keyboards. Uh, you can attach a keyboard, but the primary function of a tablet is to not have a ta not have a keyboard. So you use a stylus or your fingers um, or some other device other than a keyboard. I'm very interested in that. And so I've uh, created this little group so that we can ingest information and news and talk about it. Um, the word in tech will focus on something that is trending in technology. This will be a weekly show just like the rest of them, but... In all of these cases as well, there is a group that's going to be ingesting information and providing it for um, the rest of the group in its own forum here on Ometown, on Discord. Um, the the VOD, the, the uh, community and all of this is spread out where it is engaging. So um, if people are interested in expanding into some other area then let me know and i will 
uh, do my best to expand. But um, right now we're on Twitch um, primarily and uh, Discord and on hometown.com. And you can sign up right now to be a citizen of hometown. And then there's Try or Buy, which is a product review site or show. And um, all of this is going to stream each week on hometown.com. But we are starting out entirely as just a generic daily news show um, discussing all of the news that gets ingested by hometown. And so what I'll end up doing is each week or each day, I should say, each day I will um, come to hometown live on the stream and talk about the news that is imported into the hometown site. And as you can see, there's quite a bit. And then when there is something that you are interested in as a viewer, then you can let me know and I'll click on it um, and we can talk about it both live and in the, the forum of the, the particular um, group. So yeah, this one is inside Code Foundation. This one's in band to bezel this one is in stock marketeers war crafters daily news show so if i click on something like um in lawner it is the 10 legal tech trends that define 2021 click the link i get pulled into this and then you can have a discussion i'm logged out um for the stream um but i block my ads um, because of me being an admin for my own site, I can't um, generate fake revenue based on my impressions. So um, when you log in, you will likely see a little banner ad right here. It's the only ad that runs. Um, the site will automatically conform to either tablet or desktop or mobile device um, phone. And um, you can actually vote it up vote it down, make comments. Um, I'm attached to Giphy, so you can actually do a GIF response. Um, but the discussion takes place here when we're not streaming and you can always visit the source. And on the source, you just talk about, or you read what it is that you're about to vote on. Um, but this is just to draw attention to these little snippets, um, while we as humans want to talk about the news, um, the, the people that are producing this material are always going to be available, um, by visiting the source. I always truncate the article so that, um, it's only a small hint at what is really going on over at the site. And so my intent is to drive traffic over to that particular, um, provider of news and um and that's it for hometown.com um i'm also or hometown also exists on uh, twitter it exists in discord and um here on twitch so i hope that you find something of interest on hometown and uh, you come and visit it's for me, um, I'm on the East coast of the United States. So it is noon right now. I will typically be streaming from six o'clock on until whenever it really depends on, um, how much interest comes and we shall see. Um, without getting too into it. Um, there are instances where I've tried before, uh, life, uh, through curveballs each time. Um, and that really amounts to only three major ones. Um, but I no longer want to wait. I want to just, uh, do this and see if, um, people are interested in having conversations about the news. Um, in a reasonable way, I, I really don't like being uh, loud and bombastic. Um, but I am 
uh, very very much interested in all of these categories. And I know that there are people out there that are like me um, who can't settle on a particular area of uh, specialty. And so that's why I created Omtown. Uh, Omtown was originally created as a means to ingest um, my form of news consumption, which is uh, the areas that I'm interested in mass quantities and I can filter through it as fast as I want to. And so I actually created this site so that I could do that. Um, after talking with other people, they said that they were interested in this kind of thing. And over the years, I've created businesses that um, based on my need and then exposing it to the public uh, led to uh, great interest. And then from there, I turned it into a business. Um, my goal here is to turn it into a community and nothing more. Um, if um, this becomes something, then great. Um, otherwise, it's just me hanging out with a bunch of people who uh, are like-minded and, and want to talk about the news. Um, and I hope that I can do it in real time. I'm not really interested in posting things as... Um, pre-developed scripts and and um uh i guess uh, i don't know how to say it <laughs> i don't want skits i, I want real-time interaction with people and i'm willing to pull people into the discussion via um zoom or some other um uh, like webex or skype or something but primarily zoom that's pretty much drop dead simple um but I would really like to have some interaction with um, the community. So I hope to see you out there. And uh, I'm, although this is a test, if it stays as a VOD, then great. If not, then I'm going to uh, start streaming and uh, recording it as VODs starting on January 1st. And to bring in 2021 with Hometown. So come and sign up at hometown.com, become a citizen. Um, there's some gamification stuff in there where you get points. Um, what they're going to be used for m might be for, um, I don't know. We'll see. Got plans. Can't tell you everything. And we'll see you later. Okay. Thanks a lot and see you later. Bye-bye.